Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video and this video is going to be a grocery haul from Aldi. So I go grocery shopping every week so this is for one week's worth of groceries and this week it only came out to around $28 and a few extra cents so I got some really good deals at Aldi. I think Aldi definitely has the best deals for grocery stores in Miami right now. Also if you're interested in seeing more of the non-perishable items that I keep in my pantry I do have a pantry tour which I will link right here and also in the description of the video and without further ado let's just get into it. So just to get this monster out of the way, I got this gigantic watermelon for only $3, and it seriously weighs so much. Also, mangoes were on sale again at Aldi for only $0.49 cents each, and really can't pass up a deal like that, so I got nine mangoes. I got another box, but I promise the rest of the portion sizes in this video are more like normal, I guess. So the last thing of fresh fruit that I got was just a small bunch of bananas. I recently bought a box of bananas, so I didn't really need any more bananas. But sometimes I just prefer to eat a fresh banana versus a frozen banana. So I just got a small bunch in case I was craving a fresh banana. Then the rest of the fresh produce I got is more on the vegetable or starchy side. So I got this bag of broccoli. It's just two heads of broccoli. I got some Brussels sprouts. I got one avocado and these were only 50 cents as well. I would have gotten more, but I already have one or two in the fridge that I still need to finish up. Then I got a bag of sweet potatoes and this may sound strange, but I used to just eat roasted sweet potatoes as snacks in the evening. Like I would just pop them in the oven and then eat them cold. And I think they're absolutely delicious, perfectly sweet and like caramelly. And, but yeah, I haven't had them in a really long time. So I got these with the intention of doing that again. And then I got a bag of organic russet potatoes. And even though the organic potatoes are more expensive, these are one of the items on the Dirty Dozen list, which are the 12 foods that you should try to purchase organic when you can, because they're more coated in pesticides when you buy the conventional brands. And Aldi, I think, actually has pretty reasonable prices for the organic produce. So I got organic potatoes. Also, I forgot because it's already in the fridge, but I got a box of organic salad greens. I will post a video clip of it in there. I just don't feel like going downstairs right now to get it. Okay, and then I got another thing of tortillas. I actually went through these way faster than I expected. I like toasting these in the oven to make chips for salsa or also just make tacos with them. If you watched my last Aldi grocery haul, I got a black bean and corn salsa, and this is by the same company, but it is a mango and peach salsa. Here's what it looks like if anyone is interested. And I actually ate some of it already, so I can tell you that it's really good, but it's not very spicy. So I just wish it was a little spicier, but I still think the flavor is good. I'll just add some like hot sauce to it or something. I don't know. Then I also got a pepper grinder and I've been meaning to get this for forever, but I keep on forgetting. I love fresh cracked pepper on my food, but the pepper grinder that I currently have is like so bad and I'll be doing it like 50 times and I'll get like a tiny, tiny bit of pepper. So I decided it was time to just bite the bullet, even though it's not really that much of a bullet, this was like $2, and get fresh pepper. So I'm excited to start putting this on my food again. And then finally, I just got a jar of unsweetened applesauce. Um, I don't eat this plain, but I use applesauce a lot in baking. Applesauce is a really good substitute for oil in baking, so if you're trying to reduce the amount of oil that you consume, like I do, I don't cook with any extra oil personally, you can substitute it with applesauce. And depending on the cooking that you're doing, you can also use it as sort of an egg substitute. There are charts online though, so I would look more into it. Don't just like swap it out immediately. Uh, but yeah. All right guys, and that was everything. I feel like I got a decent amount of more savory produce this week, but I did stock up on other fruit in previous weeks. So I have some fruit that I'm just waiting for it to ripen and then I'll just eat that this week. And yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep these up or if they're helpful to you. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. But serious guys, I could probably work out with this watermelon.